Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they all have links. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see videos when they come out and be notified, hit that notification bell. So I have my friend, the rascal. Now I gotta line my camera back up. So anyhow, he's decided he's gonna sit with me and We'll see how long this lasts. All right. This picture came from uh, video 110. I don't know if you remember this, where I just kind of put my browns and blacks into a cup and flipped it over and just, I liked it. I really like the colors. It just doesn't hit me as something fabulous to put on the walls. So I'm going to do something different. Now I've taken pieces of, I've cut oval paper and I've made all these oval shapes. I've got black, any, any acrylic black, and I've got Hobby Lobby's uh, white. We're going to start from there. Now what's interesting about this and I really like, and I can't decide if I'm going to do it when my paint's black, uh, sorry, when my black paint is wet, I want some glitter in here. I've got a little bit here and there, and I thought, oh, that'd be so cool. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And I'm not even, I, I, I probably will resin this, but we'll just see. And I may stick some in then. So the glitter's not out. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. So here... <laughs> Here's this. Is that hot? <laughs> Is that lamp hot on you? So, um, I am going to not waste a lot of your time, but I'm going to paint in between all these ovals just black. I'm going to do that, and I will speed it up through there, and then we're going to go in and hopefully put some... Black here, white here to make them look a little rounded. So that's what we're going to do. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started and get rolling on this. And y'all just kick back and I'll speed it up so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Okay, that's done. Looks pretty good. It's flat, but we're going to hopefully fix that. I'm going to work a little bit with this brush. I think it's pretty big. Um, I might end up swapping to this one, but you get too small. Your lines don't flow well. The bigger ones actually are probably a little easier and you get more of a smooth transition. But This seems really big, so I'm going to look for a different one. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I found one kind of midway. So 
I hesitate in getting my watercolor brushes just because I'm pretty picky about them. But anyway, I think this one's definitely out. I'm um, going to do the white. I'm going to see if I can't put some of this black back in here. I hate wasting this. Okay, so I've got some of the black. I hate wasting paint, so I will try to put it back in there. Um, all right, let me hit my white right here. Yeah, one of those hard pieces. And I'm going to end up putting some water on this. I may have to go get another plate, but I think for my big ones, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to play a little bit maybe on this one so it won't be as big. And I need to decide because these are darker than these. I'm going to make this my top. So I'm, I'm going to have it sitting like this because it goes darker. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to make this my top, these my bottom ones. So having said that, um, I'm going to pick a corner one to play with a little bit so I'm not hugely committed. I'm going to play with this one, I think. And I went ahead and put my white out. Got some clean water because I'm going to be diluting it out and working it until it's brighter right through here and it fades. And we're going to play with the white right there we come up with. I'm going to hit a corner as much as I can. The worst thing I do is wipe it off and start over. Um, but I want to... I probably picked a bad one because this is right there. On the edge so I'm gonna to have to go down on this edge a little bit okay obviously that is too bright so I'm gonna get me some water and just kind of start working it
Okay, I'm going to get started on the dark. Um, little places like that where I went out of line, I'm going to end up doing that black again. So, I'm not, that's not a bother. Uh, I'm going to turn it upside down because of the angle. It's easier to do it this way than this way. I don't know, it might be. Ah, let's see. Um... I kind of like working with this one. It's it's uh, too big on some of these little ones, but it's not bad. It's kind of a good one. So we'll drip some here with this kind of not real watery, but I don't want it straight. You can see how little I'm getting. I I found doing the white, it's a little um no, I'm gonna flip it because I need to stay with the same type of this one I did heavier here. I need to do the darker here. And that way I don't have to in my head turn this around. Um I don't I don't know what this is gonna look like. And we'll dab some more some off. And I'm gonna do let's do this. I don't know, let's just do this one. I'm outside the line here, so I'm just gonna start with the back in the line. You're not gonna see this one as much, it's just gonna play a little bit. I don't know if that did anything or not. I'm thinking it might do more the more you see it. So maybe bring some of that shadow up. This may be more important than the white. We're bringing that shadow up here. Okay, this has been a half a day ordeal. You wouldn't think that just putting a little bit of white, a little bit of black on a picture would take so long. Of course, I had to figure a lot of things out. and But I'm happy with this, and I can't wait to put some resin on it to make it real shiny. But I'm going to show up close, because up close, it's like the mystery disappears. It looks not great up close, but I'm trying to make it flawless, and you're just not going to. You're just not going to with a brush. Um, oh, that one's harsh. I uh, toned him down a bit. But, yeah, it just gives you the illusion that there's light, and this part fades into the dark like it would in a river or something. So, 
The only thing I think I'd change is I would put these closer together and have less black background. Uh, I think they're not going to be spaced like this. They're going to be up against each other. Um, I couldn't see that when I drew it, so I can see it now. So if I run across another one that I'm just not loving, I'm going to do this too, and I will put these rocks up against each other. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. I can't wait to resin it, and I've got it setting up where hopefully there's no glare on it. So... <laughs> give this a shot and be prepared to sit and work for a while um but it was fun i enjoyed it so y'all go have fun with this take care